It's that time again, Trash Panda Treasures. My name is Carrie, and I am your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library. And if you're watching this video, that means that you picked hoppers for your secondary item in your box this month. All right, guys, we are gonna make a hopper. So take the top of your paper and fold it down to match up with the bottom of your paper flat side to flat side and get a nice sharp crease and go ahead and unfold it. We're going to take the top right corner and we're going to put it right to the edge of that middle line that we just made. So kind of make a triangle for the top part, unfold it and do the same thing to the left top corner. Make sure you get a nice sharp crease. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that top piece and fold it down to the middle line. Then open it back up. You've got that X in the middle of the paper. And if you pull it down, you're going to kind of see it wants to make a pyramid shape. And if you help that pyramid shape kind of push the edges together and pull back, push the middles together and pull it to the back, you will end up with a triangle shape on the front. I'm going to show you one more time. So those middle straight lines of your top square, pull those together and then push it to lay flat. Okay, now the left corner, we're going to bend it up. Not all the way up, just enough. We're making a little front frog leg here. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. You want them to meet up in the middle there. Now I'm going to take the bottom edge and fold it up to the middle. And then we're going to work on that back part. Nice sharp crease. Then I'm going to take the right edge and bring it to the center. And this will kind of fold that piece under the leg that you made for the front of your frog. So bring it to where the middle of that would be. And you can see the leg's gonna kinda stick out a little bit. And that's okay. We're gonna bend it underneath that. Bring the other side to the middle as well. Do it to one side, we gotta do it to the other side. We are gonna take the bottom line that we have now and fold it up to that middle line again. I know the paper's getting pretty thick here, so just push down as hard as you can to get that, that line. If you look in the middle, there's kind of a, a square piece. And what we want to do is we want to pull that piece out and down. So out. And what it's going to do is give us kind of a triangle shape on the outside. It's going to make kind of a little boat shape. We're going to do it to each side. So I'm going to show you again. When you lift that flap up, you're going to see a square in there and we're going to kind of pull that out and that's going to make sort of a triangle shape on the outer edge. We're going to do it to the other side here too. Pull that square shape again out and then go ahead and flatten it in place. Then we're going to make back legs the same way that we made the front legs. You're going to pull, not all the way, but just kind of angle that down. Okay. Then we're going to fold the whole thing in half. So the back legs touch the front legs. And then we're going to pull those back legs we're going to take the whole piece and fold it in half. So that middle line is going to go to the bottom line, fold it in half. And this one doesn't have to stay in place. That's going to make the little spring shape that will let our frog actually hop. So that's the frog's face, front legs. And when you push down on that accordion layer, that will make your frog hop. And you can stop there if you want to, but 
we have given a battery, some copper tape, and some red LEDs to try and put um, some fancy red eyes on your frog if you would like. Now with LEDs, there are two legs. One is longer, that's your positive leg. One is shorter, that's your negative leg. And your battery also has a positive and a negative. The positive side has that plus sign and the writing, and the negative side has kind of a scritchy pattern on it. So check your LED by matching the positive leg to the positive side of the battery, negative leg to the negative side of the battery. That should turn on that LED light. If it doesn't, come see me at the library and I will get you a replacement. So we're gonna draw two tiny circles near your frog's nose, and that's where those eyes are gonna go. Now I know it's, it's hard, but we are gonna undo the folding that we did because uh, we have to get inside that frog head to put those eyes in place. I promise it will fold back nicely. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to poke that LED right through. And you want to keep that longer positive edge closer to the nose, the shorter negative leg closer to the outside of your frog face. And these can be kind of pokey, so be, be careful. Don't stick yourself with them. and go ahead and pull those through so we can see the bits on the back. And we're gonna take the legs um, that are closer to the nose, so the positive legs are gonna kinda get bent out of the way, and we're gonna take those negative legs from the outsides and make an X shape. We're gonna bend them down and in, and they are gonna cross over each other. So, bend that one down and in and then I'm going to bend this one down and in to make an X shape and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that down into place with some of that copper tape. So we'll hold that into place. I'm going to add one more piece just to secure it. Okay, now on top of that we're gonna take the negative side of our battery and press it up against that copper tape. So what we see is the positive side and regular tape will hold this in place. And you don't wanna tape over the whole battery, only the, the bottom bit. So you wanna leave that top bit. Then I'm gonna take those legs that we pushed out of the way earlier and I'm gonna sandwich them in this copper tape. So I'm kind of going to stick the bottom side to it and then wrap what's left around them. So they will also hold together in their shape. And when those bend down and touch that battery, it should turn the lights on for your frog's eyes. Then we fold it all back up which it already has all the lines in place, so it should be not too tricky to get it all back the way we had it. Get those legs folded up. And now, I'm gonna bend those eyes back just a little bit so they're not leaning so far forward. And now you have glowing red eyes for your hopper.